Today, we're just going to be talking a little bit about all of the rumors surrounding the new DJI Digital FPV version 3. I'm just going to go over what the current information we have is, explain a bit about what I think is going on, and then talk about if DJI could be about to drop another big upset in the FPV industry, just like they did before. We know we have the upcoming HD Zero goggles just around the corner that there is a huge amount of excitement about, but never underestimate DJI and their ability to be completely disruptive in a market out of the blue. So let's get on with it and let's take a look at what rumors we have first of all. Over the last few weeks, there's been a lot of information and the odd leaks circling around varying DJI products. The Mini 3 has been quite extensively leaked from an image point of view, and whilst that isn't particularly FPV related, there is something in it very, very interesting which we'll touch on in a minute. Furthermore, there's been a bit of information that really does point towards there being a new version 3 set of FPV goggles that would also align with what we've seen in the Mini 3 and potentially a new digital FPV system as well. There's also, though, been a lot of stuff around the hacking that's being done on the version 1 and version 2 system that shows potential for MSPOSD as well. And you need to make sure that you don't get these things confused because there is basically two separate directions of things going on at the same time. And I'm going to explain that as we walk through. If we take a look at the Mini 3, first of all, and the little hint that there is in that with regards to where if FPV might be going. Now, I know the Mini 3 isn't really directly aimed at FPV, but it is a popular drone, the Mini series, with FPV flyers just to have in their bag for doing camera work. However, with the leaks that we've seen on the Mini 3, as you can see on screen here, we do see something a little bit interesting. If we look at the images, the Mini 3 isn't anything particularly strange or unusual or unexpected, apart from the way the thing looks, but I'll leave that there. But there is some really interesting hints about what might be coming in the future in the background. And if we look here and zoom in, you can see at the top here, there appears to be something that says FPV Pro. Now this would hint that there is potentially some new feature that DJI are adding on a product called FPV Pro. If we look at the box itself, it isn't clear because it is behind what we're looking at, but the box definitely appears to be a box for a mini style drone. It looks like to be the mini, and whilst we can't see what it is, what does look to be the case is this FPV Pro writing at the top. I can't personally remember a product with that on and it sort of hints that DJI might be bringing FPV into the mainstream a little bit more with their everyday products. This would make a lot more sense because the current FPV goggles basically only work with either the ear units or the FPV drone and whilst the FPV drone was a sort of push into more mainstream, DJI haven't pushed these goggles any further like they have with goggles in the past such as the standard white FPV goggles and the goggles RE. Further to that, some of the guys who are doing the amazing work of digging in to not only the DJI FPV software, but the Assistant and the other software as well, have come across something, again, aligning with what we've seen on that box. And that is some references for a new system called the GLZ V900, which has the label of DJI FPV Goggles version 3. Now, this is the part of the software that is designed to recognize what is being plugged into it and it sort of shows that DJI are working on a version 3 set of FPV goggles and hopefully that's something we're going to see in the near future. Now today that doesn't mean FPV goggles means a new FPV system but I have been shared something that hints that that might actually be happening as well. Now this image was shared from a person's Facebook account or something like that which shows a FPV image which appears to be DJI with OSD and some of the hints in the text on this is that there is Canvas Mode Digital, new system, brand new. Now, my understanding is this image may have come from one of DJI's partners who have been providing the FPV system. And what you can see on this is that it clearly shows the OSD menu. 
it has that DJI FPV look. So you can see the voltage, the various bits of information, the goggles and the recording stuff at the top, but it is an entirely new layout and you would expect this not to be an FPV drone because that really does look like the beta flight menu and more a digital FPV system. Whilst this doesn't confirm that there is going to be a new system, it certainly looks like there is one in the works. What's also interesting on this as well is this comment up here, and that is the HD Zero groups are super active. And this sort of implies that either DJI or its partners are very, very interested in what is going on in the other groups and how active those groups are as well. Now, as I've mentioned, that OSD image shouldn't be confused with the amazing work people are doing with the root access that we now have on the DJI FPV. On my Discord, I put the link to the project by BRI3D, who is doing an amazing job of actually doing MSP display port support on the current FPV goggles. He's got a video which he'd shared in a couple of places and I put a link to it on my Discord. And here you can see the V2 goggles with Beta Flight OSD support. If you notice, there's no other OSD because they've basically taken control over the full front end of the frame buffer at this moment in time, but you will start to see this improve. It's very early days. It's not ready for public consumption yet, but what it shows is what is possible. And it is only a matter of time before we have proper OSD support on the V1 system outside of what DJI are doing. So what does all of this tell us at this time? Well, nothing is concrete. We have no hardware images. We have nothing 100%. But all of the hints and info we have are pushing towards there being a version 3 DJI FPV goggles. There is nothing in the software that is showing new ear units, but we do have that image from one of DJI's partners that appears to say that there is a new system coming and it is showing Betaflight OSD as well. My thoughts are personally that DJI is going to bring version three goggles. They're probably going to be more mainstream in the sense of add support for their new drones. We've seen that FPV Pro image on that box and that could be a direction we're gonna see DJI go with bringing support for like the Mini 3, the A2S because the V2s unofficially support the A2S and even the Mavic 3 series. The big question though is are they going to bring a new FPV system? The hints with the new goggles is that they are OLED and might be 1080p as well but we don't know any more than that. My bet would be any version 2 FPV system would be dual band, probably 1080p option, maybe improved latency, maybe improved range, and some other tweaks here and there, including that Betaflight OSD. But there's nothing to say any of that would be ported back to the original system, but that's not a major issue today because the community is probably going to give us that anyway. Now, if I was HD Zero, I wouldn't be too worried, but I would certainly be wanting to keep an eye on what DJI do because HD Zero's biggest benefit right now is fixed latency, and there is nothing to say DJI can't play in that space either. However, if I was Orca and Fat Shark, I think I would be very, very worried. Orca have a very good product in the Pilot V2s, and they have hinted at a future digital FPV system, but it isn't on the market yet. You can't buy it. We literally have seen three boxes in a glass case. The longer they take to bring this to the market, the harder it is going to be to even catch up if they can catch up at all. And whilst they might be able to deliver something very, very interesting, there is a point where it is going to be too late. Furthermore, Fat Shark have a number of problems on their hands, including a reduction in sales that they're seeing on their current goggles right now. In their latest earning calls, they said there's been a reduction because they think users are waiting for their latest product to release and likened it to the Apple release cycle where there's a new iPhone once a year in September and people not buying iPhones in August. Personally, I don't think that's the case. And the simple reality is they've seen a reduction in sales because of the interest in the new upcoming HD Zero goggles, but also the release of the Orcas as well. The Fat Shark product line is aging and they really don't have anything to compete with what we've seen coming from HD Zero 
or DJI. Yes, they have partnered with HD Zero in the past, but everything looks like that is over. And right now they are simply once again, an analog goggle manufacturer, and they are going to get left behind by the likes of Orca, HD Zero and DJI, if they don't bring something quite special very, very soon. Now, that's it from me on this. That's my thoughts. As soon as we have any concrete info, I will share it with you guys. If you found this video interesting, please give it a like. If you're not a subscriber already, please do hit that button. If you'd like to support us to be able to keep making content, especially when these new products come out, we've got the HD Zero goggles coming, we'll have the DJIs. If you want to support us to be able to buy these, please do check out my Patreon and my link to buy me a coffee. I want to say a massive thank you to all of my Patreon supporters who do already support the channel. It is only by you guys doing that am I able to keep making videos and I'm going to be able to buy these new systems to be able to give you honest, independent content and reviews on. Also, a massive thank you to everyone who supports me by a buy me a coffee as well. Your money does not get wasted. And again, a massive thank you for the support you've given. Anyway, that's it for me. Stay safe. I will speak to you guys again soon.